Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. Today we're going to be looking at some uh, intruder basics, uh, particularly the, uh, the surface mount door contact. This is the CQR part. It's a grade two and it's got, it's a multi, which means it's got selectable resistors. So let's just have a look at the wiring configuration for a minute. Uh, as you can see, there's a variety of uh, jumper links that we can, we can cut uh, to make it uh, compatible with your panel. So we're going to be having a look at that in a minute. Right, let's, let's have a closer look at the, uh, the contact itself. Right, it comes in two parts. Uh, obviously, that's the magnetic part. And if you take the lid off the, uh, the, 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 the door contact, uh, you'll soon see the insides of it and that contains a lot of jumper links all coloured um, uh, and this little part here uh, down at the bottom that's the uh, that's the reed switch that's the bit that needs to be closest to the magnet to be fair right so let's let's just go and have a look at the other side and you'll just see um, what, all the colour codes and what the numbers mean right so you've got um, A, B, C, D, E, F etc etc that refers to the resistance values and we'll be looking at that a little bit closer uh, in the next little part of it. But you'll find that uh, the colour code red would typically be for a Texicom or a Pyronix panel. And if you're using a Galaxy panel, it would be the, the A, which is the green. We've also got the little tamper switch on there, uh, which if you take your lid off, it'll make and break that contact. So that's what the tamper switch is on it. Uh, different grades have different uh, features on there, but this is a grade two. Right, so I've got my multimeter connected up now um, through the terminals. There's only two terminals you need to connect on this grade two, and it's currently seen open circuit. Uh, I've got my meter on continuity at the moment, but uh, I'm going to be flicking it to resistance in a minute. But as you can see, uh, if I press that button there, the tamper switch, it will create a short circuit there um, because I've got that tamper closed. All right, so uh, we're just going to be moving my multimeter. Let's have a look at the little instructions in a minute. Uh, it's an SC570 multi. Uh, it's a grade two, as I said. So let's look a little bit more detail at the instructions. Right, as you can see, as I've shown you before, um, it is worth pointing out that the door contacts need to match up. There's little arrows on there that you can see. So you need to get them in the right orientation because of the magnet. Uh, and, and here's a little diagram inside of how it works, the little schematic and also the resistor table. Uh, as I said, red being Pyronix and Texicom, for instance, uh, and green being uh, the Galaxy Honeywell stuff. Right, uh, and that's where I'm, I'm just going to cut uh, in the next little section. I'm just going to cut these already. But before I do that, I'm going to flick my multimeter. I think I'll be flicking up to 20k. Um, and I'll go on 2k. And, oh, let's get up to 20k. Um, it's just so that we've got resistance above 2k, which we have in total. Right, we've got all this connected up now. I've, I've snipped the right conductors um, to, to simulate a Texicon one, which is a 4K7 and a 2K2. So with the contact closed, the lid on, for instance, I should be measuring a resistance of 2K2, which I am. And if I just move the magnet away now, I'll move the door contact away. I am going to open the door. I should get a resistance of 6K9, which should just about get that there. Um, and if I just approach the door, if I close the door back again, I get a 2K2. And if I release, if I take the tamper off uh, the switch, it'll go to open circuit. And that's how the door contact works. So I, I really do hope that helps. See you next time.